guys are doing today. <laughs> Yo, what's up, everybody? How you guys doing, man? It's it's so quiet. It threw me off. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Too funny. So we, uh, let me get some music going on here in the background. Yeah, you, oh, it's playing buddy. right. Oh, it's just like really quiet on my end. Hi, but... Maddie. Brandon. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Barbarian. Going? Palmer, how are you doing? And Palmer is hilarious. Me and him have been chatting behind yeah. the scenes. And he is a hilarious dude, man. Nice to see uh, you too, Jim. Nice to see you too. <laughs> what up, CPM? CPM! <laughs> I got Just something in today that CPM would love. Oh, and dude, just uh, <laughs> just because you know Palmer's here and I haven't said anything about it in a while. Thumb disc in your face. In oh. your face. I carried my the other day, actually. In your face. In your face. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. Oh man! Hello. Row. There we go. <laughs> What's the course, secret? Only responds with "gay." Talk <laughs> <laughs> Oh goodness! Hey, Twenty dollars. Twenty dollars, Palmer. That's all I got. Just, say. just to let. You, oh shit! Fuck! Did I? Yep. <laughs> I just happened to fucking cut myself right at the start of the live. That's awesome. Hey, <laughs> oh, oh that's say, so funny. If you guys like sweet stuff, but don't like how like fucking unhealthy a lot of shit is, Oompaville, he has his, this like brand called Sour Boys. Yeah. And I love his shit, dude. It's so good. It's really fucking good. Is it semi healthy uh, too? Like, is it like just not as bad? Dude, it's like they use all natural ingredients. They don't use like high fructose corn syrup. They wow. use real sugar, natural fruit flavors, like all sorts of shit like that. So that's awesome. Man. Um, yeah. And like <laughs> you eat like one and a half belts, which are like pretty fucking big. And it's only sure. somehow seven grams of sugar. So, like, it's it's good. And what's funny is, like, you know when you eat a lot of, like, the sugar candy stuff? Like, you, you just kind of want to keep eating it and eating it. This stuff, I can have, like, a little fucking taste of it. And, like, sure. I'm good. You know? I don't need... I don't feel like the... Yeah. That, like, desire to keep eating it. You know yeah. what I mean? Yeah. So, yeah, and I give myself a little, little love tap, a little paper cut. Yeah, you know, <laughs> it was the bag. The bag cut you for for opening. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> South of the belt, Palmer. <laughs> Jeez. Oh man. <laughs> I don't know how I've lived. Almost 30 years, 30 years tomorrow without ever using a fountain pen until yesterday. 30, mm. 30 years tomorrow? Yep. Happy birthday, first of all. Everybody, Thanks. say happy birthday to this man right here. Make him feel awkward. Mm -hmm. Make him feel <laughs> awkward. Uh, it's the Amazon special for $17.99. And it yeah. takes hey. refills. So if I can get it to undo, it takes refills too. Oh, so instead of go. having to like drop the this doohickey in the uh, the ink bottle, yeah, yeah, a thirty pack of refills for ten bucks. Nice. Yeah. He said, nice. Happy birthday, nice. child. <laughs> Did Palmer say that? <laughs> no, Jim. Oh, Palmer said I was old as fuck. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's funny. My brother's birthday is today, so I had a, I, I called him on the way home from work. Nice. Yeah. What's up, Hosanna? 
See, it's it's easy for me to remember Drew, Drew's birthday for that reason. Yep. Yeah, <laughs> it's, the, it's the day after. And then one of my childhood friends, his is the 13th. Very cool. Very nice. Man. Very cool. Dude, no, like uh, uh, fountain pens are fucking amazing. We this have is the one. <laughs> 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 that's hilarious this is the little one that i use oh, you know nice. similar idea like cheap affordable plastic yep. you yep. know and this one it, it literally says metal construction it doesn't say what kind of metal <laughs> it's gonna be aluminum but apparently the uh the quill i believe it's called is yeah. blue pvd coated i didn't know that you Ooh. could do blue pvd I didn't know PVD came in different colors. I didn't know that either. Yeah. So, I mean, it looks anodized, but so does the pen itself. And it's like a slate blue almost. That's pretty pretty cool. You leaving? What's up, Donnie Bless? I would love to try the uh, Big Eye fountain pens. Man, I, I, between... Well, do you still have your relationship with, with Big Eye? Yeah, I love Big Eye. They're awesome. Yeah. I was gonna say, I mean, you may be able to, like, reach out to them and see if they'll they'll get you one, like, uh, uh, for cheap, you know, or at least like give you a ten percent discount or something. Well, we, yeah. I mean, we have a we have a code, um, an affiliate code. So if oh, okay. if I wanted to get one, I could just use that. No, fair. Um, yeah, dude, I I definitely dig fountain pens, like. Especially now, like the newer generations, they're they're less likely to spill in your pocket, which was always yeah. like the issue, you know. Sure. And CPM, dude. <laughs> uh, I mean, I don't know what what fountain pens you're looking at these days. I mean, if you're looking at Mont Blanc and stuff like that, or um, uh, shit, I forgot the Monte Grappa. Bless yeah, nice. they're, they're still expensive, but there's a lot of affordable ones like still available out there. <laughs> um, Ooh, nice. That's sick, dude. <laughs> I have uh, I have one Grail watch left to buy. And it's not going to happen anytime soon. But and I thought about it because of the Big Eye website. Yeah. Um, I really want their automatic uh, watch that they Dude, have. Can I tell you? Don't really spend. Don't get into watches more than you are. No, I don't want to get into watches. I just I want this watch. If that makes okay, sense. Okay. Good. Good because. I've, I've been down the, the watch rabbit hole for years, mm -hmm. and, ugh, no. Yeah. Let, let me put it to you like this. I have handled, I don't own, but I've handled some exceedingly expensive watches. That's how I've gone, how far down sure. the rabbit hole I've gone. Sure. And, well, I, I've, I, I went down a watch rabbit hole when I was 18. 19 um i bought a Tissot yeah. t-touch and it was a full titanium yeah it's a thirteen hundred dollar nice watch i mean it was stupid um i ended up giving it away uh a few months back um just because i didn't i didn't really like it anymore you know yeah um i lost the paperwork in the box for it and um I looked on eBay and they're going for like 500 bucks, 400 bucks. And I just couldn't see myself selling it for that much knowing I paid what I paid for it. Ooh. Um, and so I gifted it to a buddy who has been wanting a really nice watch and they have always been more than helpful to me. So, nice. um, it, it felt good to be able to give them something since they gave me so much kind of thing. Um, Hell yeah. But, yeah, um, I want to build a big fountain pen now. Sorry, <laughs> I want to. I want to. The car. <laughs> this is the one that I've been wearing right here, and I love this thing. It's the big eye one, and I would love to just have the automatic version. Yeah, fair. I love auto. <clears throat> I always have. I have a whole collection of Seikos and stuff like that. 
Um, if you get, if well, people in the chat don't know, like Seiko is known as being one of the best affordable automatics like brand really? that you can get. Oh yeah, like Citizen and Seiko make insanely good watches for their oh. prices. Like you'll spend under five hundred and you'll be able to get like a. a fucking good watch you know um and there's a whole community now also of uh watch modders so if you don't like the factory style you can get a modded seiko that is done like insanely beautifully and you know you'll it, it it'll be like a one-off or one of five or something like that you know so Palmer, okay cpm Calm down with the brand Seiko, okay? Like, oh, that's all funny. right, CPM. You want to see one of the knives that I, or not one of the knives, one of the watches I've handled, okay? Like, I've literally had one of these on my wrist, okay? Oh, so, that yeah. reminds me of a Cyclops meets Men in Black. So, you want to know how much this watch is, by the way? If I had to guess, I would yeah. say twelve grand. Try seven figures. Yes. Yes. Wow. Seven fucking figures. What? Yeah. So the the mechanism that keeps the time, the tourbillon what? in it, wow. rotates three hundred and sixty degrees constantly. Oh. in a spherical motion in order to negate the effects of fucking gravity. Jesus. And that's just the timekeeping mechanism in it. Like, <laughs> bro, when you that's why I was saying, when you go down rabbit holes, oh. like, it, it gets fucking deep. And you want to okay, You want to hear the crazy shit about, like, handling that watch? Uh, is that fucking... So I was at a, a, a store in Southern California, like they had it in their vault, right? Mm -hmm. The fucking manager of the store was so impressed with my knowledge of the brand that he like brought it out to show me and let me check out. The guy who bought it, bought it, proceeded to go on a yachting trip around the world and had left it there for the last fucking year and hadn't even picked it up yet. Jeez. Yeah, like that's that level of like fucking psycho. Mimo stares out the window at his big concrete sundial. <laughs> <laughs> I fucking love you, Mimo. <laughs> hey, man. That's funny, man. Oh, dang. He said, he said earlier, he was like, he said, uh, where is it? Mimo gazes down at his twenty dollar Casio. <laughs> Dude, but here's the thing, right? Like when you get to that level, it's not about timekeeping. It's not about like oh, knowing yeah. the time. No. That's literally in your like social group and your professional oh, yeah. world. Oh, yeah. You're yeah. just putting your dick on the table by oh, having yeah. a watch like that. That's <laughs> all it is. Yes. You know? Yeah, a lot of times, CPM, that's true. Have you seen the Jacob & Co. Bugatti ones? They're hideous, in my opinion. But people fucking love them. The more expensive they are, the more ugly they are. Yes. <laughs> yes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, this is, like, in my opinion, a pretty ridiculous-looking watch. And they have all these like ugly versions, but it's it's essentially you have to own a uh, fucking uh, Bugatti in order to get one. Mm. And they built a miniature version of the Bugatti engine inside of it. Jesus. Yeah. Can you get that on Timu? Hey, I'm sure actually. <laughs> If you want to see really crazy shit, uh, there's... <laughs> Maddie can't afford this current conversation. <laughs> there's this brand, MBNR. What the fuck? Yeah, they make crazy shit. 
Oh, you know it would go really good with that Bugatti watch. A Bugatti? A Kaimano. <laughs> a Kaimano. I wish. You should but, do it. You should make a watch that you could only buy if you might have a, a Kaimano. There's there's a dude uh that I think he went to my school, actually. I gotta like reach out to him. We used to comment on each other's shit uh like a while ago. And he makes like awesome, awesome watches, and he's getting like big time exposure. I'm talking like celebrities, high net worth individuals are like starting to buy his shit. I'd love to collab with him. Uh, this is the the dude. I don't know. Some of you, well, Palmer may have heard of this guy, Wilbur Watchco. This is him. But he his watches are sick. Wow. Oh. Yeah. This is the main one that he is like known for. I like that. Yeah, dude. Did that say four thousand? Yep. Holy mm. crap! Cheaper than a Rolex these days. So that was like a freaking Spy Kids watch. Yeah, I can see that, <laughs> dude. So, like, yeah, this guy's been getting a lot of exposure lately. I I would love to collab with him and do design. You know. Yeah, hundred percent. Four K is not on the watch world, but in my world, who is who? I am not a watch person. I am not in that watch rabbit hole. Um, that is a lot. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Did you know that you there's a Goodwill auction thing online? No, and you could actually bid on watches and stuff that they get gifted. Yeah. Like, that's insane. I just found that out the other day. I had no idea. Yeah. They, if you go to, it's like, I forget what it is. It's like an online Goodwill site. And basically, um, anything that's worth a lot of money that gets donated, they yeah. put it on their, on their website and people can bid on it. Nice. Yeah. Dude, like, uh, let me see. Cause I think they, they just reissued it not too long ago. You can find these guys. Okay, I just found it. Drew, I see you. I'll bring you in in just one split second. Like, this is a great watch that you can get if you have, like, normal human wrists. I need, personally, to get a new strap for it. But you can get this for... <laughs> Under five. This is a under five stable. what? Under five hundred. Okay. Yeah, I'm not five hundred thousand. Jeez. I, I don't know if you were saying five grand, five. You know. Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> but this is a Seiko Alpinist. Auto, beautiful, nice, subtle. Yeah. You know, and really like kind of perfect for being outdoorsy. I can get this strap now to maybe the first notch no not even or yeah i can but it's like hanging on for dear life <laughs> dude i love it but yeah nice like very very nice watch that's have, like have you ever looked at barton watch uh watch bands uh so i have the only thing that really works for me is actually nato straps really um there you so go. this is my baby stuff like this like nato straps yeah are the only things that work for me and even then i i'm not that deep into the nato like i'm on the fourth hole for sure. my wrist to be comfortable like i have nine plus inch diameter wrists and that's not even fat. That's always how my wrists have been. Like, yeah, I go to like, or I, it's what stopped me from getting like a lot of watches. Cause I was just like, 
oh man, I, I got to do this whole search for a new strap every time I get something nice, sure. blah, 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 blah. It, it just got frustrating, you know? Sure. So, yeah, man. How you doing, Drew? What's going on, man? Uh, your microphone's turned off, Drew. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. There it is. <sighs> Always a problem. <laughs> Always a problem. Yeah, man. So How are we you doing, doing good? Man? <clears throat> yeah, man. We're just talking about watches. Sweet. Yeah. Um, you never need anything more than a Casio. Ooh, you really don't. Here we go. Here's the here's the twenty dollar no, conversation. Hey, listen, did you just hear Sharif? <laughs> I'm just, he just kidding, agreed. bro. I'm kidding. I, I saw somebody say it in the comment section as soon as you came in. They're like, Drew's gonna come in here and say a twenty dollar watch tells time the same as a two hundred thousand dollar watch. No, it does. I'm, I'm only saying and it does. Casios are very well built, and it's if you get a twenty dollar Walmart watch that's not a Casio, you'll be upset. Bro, like CPM feels, feels attacked. I am hey, a I'm not saying advocate. that I don't like expensive watches. That's something I will spend money on. I'm just saying a Casio is a perfect watch. I am I will back up Drew here. I am a big <laughs> advocate of the cuz here's the thing, right? Like at the end of the day, if you need a watch to fucking tell time, right? And that's its purpose you like a, a basic watch works well and if you get some of the casios right like either the base level with metal bands and like yep. metal frames or you even like level the up slightly to, nicer one yeah you get like a g-shock but like a metal g-shock mm -hmm. uh dude you can dress those up and still like and they still look, look fantastic it yeah. still keeps the time accurately yep Watches are about looking good. Unless you're a watch aficionado and you're really into knives or really into watches, you're not going to have a clue of what anyone's doing. You're just like, oh, that's a nice watch. Yeah, dude, one of my Casio uh, G-Shocks gets confused for uh, like a, um, like probably close to $100,000 watch like every time I wear it. Sweet. Yeah. Did you see what yeah. CPM wrote? He uses what an abacus it? to tell time. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck Casio. <laughs> if I see a man with a watch that isn't a smart watch, I picture his Ivy League diploma getting burnt by his third wife and five kids while she screams about him getting a hooker after work. <laughs> wow. Wow. <laughs> I, I love wearing a watch. I don't care for smartwatches because I don't care for charging it constantly. Yeah, me too. Um, I just want a watch to do exactly what it does. Tell time. Tell time. I mean... If it can uh, tell me the date, too, because I forget that quite frequently, it's it's yeah. a bonus. But The, the older I get, the, the more I forget what day it is. <laughs> <laughs> I seriously thought today was Wednesday, and I was talking to my boss all day like it's Wednesday. Oh, yeah, I can do that over the next uh, couple days, blah, blah, blah. Well, it's Thursday. I got one work day left. <laughs> yeah. So, right here, this is one that I advocate Beautiful. a lot. Casio World Timer. Use this. Like, dude, a lot of times I need to know what time it is in different time zones. $20 watch. Does that. And... True. This thing is dead. It hasn't there. even been charged. Yeah. <laughs> Forever. Yeah, mine's sitting up there at the top of my bed completely dead. I do really love my Garmin... Uh, Instinct? Yes. And same yeah, here. Good I was going to say yeah, that's my favorite I, smart I watch. I say that because I don't use any of the smartwatch functions necessarily. Is that the one that still looks like a watch? Yes. Yeah. My mom's got one of those too. Yeah. She and loves it. I like it because if for whatever reason I just happen to be the one running a canine track, the track me feature, you can send that out via text or email. Yeah. So if I'm on with the dog, I can send that to the shift, and they can all see where we are so that we're not having to be on the road. And a lot Sweet. of guys at the department, Plus, they'll use instinct for that. 
the the Garmin instincts, if you get even the base model version, they'll last you a week without having to recharge them with regular Bro, use. Yeah. Mine lasts about a month. That's the only reason why I like it. And that's not even the yeah. solar one. I was going to say, if you get the solar one, yep. you can yeah, last for like last months. Month. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Like literally. <clears throat> uh, and Palmer, this is the G Shock that I was talking about. Right there. Beautiful. Beautiful like watch. Fucking love this thing, you know? And, dude, it's got a way, like, it preserves the battery, has all the world time functions, all of that stuff. So you don't need to spend stupid money to get a nice watch, like, by any means. But yep. I do still like retarded, like, my dream watch, when I discovered it, was a sixty thousand dollar watch? Now the price has gone up to six figures. <laughs> like, I'll never own it in my life, but it's kind of like you can drool after. over it. Yeah, exactly. It's, it's like, like cars. Than... Yeah, exactly. Like I'll <laughs> never own a Ferrari F forty, but I'm still gonna drool over it. Absolutely. Know? Like hey, every day and every day. and not a hot take. The F forty Competition was one yeah. of the best cars ever made. Period. Oh. 100%. I will fight yeah. you to the grave if anyone says differently. If anybody does <laughs> say differently, I'm ready. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> We're all playing with our knives right now. What was what was yeah. the car called? The Ferrari F40 Competition. So it was the yes. uh, racing edition of the F40. Specifically uh, built for the track. Yeah, yeah the regular edition. <laughs> Drew, Drew, just piece of shit. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, dude. A '96 I... Ford Tempo. No, you got to go with the Pinto. That thing was a fucking rocket. <laughs> there you go. A rocket? You mean it turned you into a rocket? Yes, a yes, I, I yes. <laughs> oh, you had a red rocket. So yeah, look at that. So sexy. Oh, just and button. and Sharif, I think you can agree. One of the top three, not this one, one of the top three best sounding cars of all time. Uh -huh. I, I think it's number one, in my opinion, uh, is the Lexus LFA. Of course. <laughs> of course. It, it is potentially the best sounding car ever created in the modern era. Yes. Uh, Porsche Carrera GT is really close. I love them. But, but that V10 howl out of the, the LFA. Lexus bro. put my favorite fact about that is Lexus put was it Yamaha? They contracted to yeah. design the uh, headers yeah. and the exhaust system yeah. in order for the best sound to be able to be made out of the engine. Yeah, yeah. They hired they, like the they, piano maker Yamaha to do it. Which is like ridiculous. <laughs> it's, yeah. Yeah, the the Ford F one fifty is just better all around. Dude, hey, you should have said the Ford Lightning. There you go. That's that's the pure better one. I have no idea about vehicles. Oh, that's the fully electric F one fifty that can't do no, jack yeah. shit. <laughs> no, the the Ford Lightning though was actual truck that was the been old out one wild. is the cool one. The yeah. the the old one is I I want one, but the new one that was is, in. Uh, uh, Piece Fast of shit. and Furious, right? In the beginning, when he's like racing around. I don't know. In that red truck. I don't know. I just remember growing up and watching him drag race on the drag track, so. <laughs> uh, Palmer, I've been around Zondas. Zondas sound amazing, don't get me wrong. LFA is better. Or yeah, Zondas, Zondas are up there, yeah. though, for sure. Yeah. But, dude, uh, Drew, this yeah. will trip you out. So I was at a uh, Lexus sponsored track day. Oh, and sweet! Yeah, like basically, if you set the what? fastest time, you got a ride in an LFA at full tilt. So did you set the fastest time? I was second. What a oh. limo! Yeah. Hey, hey, just remember, you were the first loser. I know. I know. <laughs> Bro, but look at that thing. Oh. Gorgeous. I want so one in good. I want one in yellow. If I were to yeah. ever be able to afford one. With black rims? Yeah. Dude. 
Yep. See you, Jim. Later, Bye, Jim. Jim. Oh. <laughs> I love Mimo talking shit. Hey, did you hear what happened? The Fords are still on the road. The other 15% never made it home. No <laughs> <laughs> space goes. Um, did you hear the big news? Is it, I think it might have happened today. I don't know. I think it was just, today, I, yeah. O, o, OJ? Oh, yeah, he yeah, died. He gone. That's insane, bro. Yeah. Hey, what? you may be able to get away with murder, but you can't get away from cancer. Oh, Damn. Oh, oh, oh. Damn. That's cold blooded. <laughs> cold blooded, Drew. <laughs> hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> yeah. Damn. The glove doesn't fit. It doesn't. <laughs> oh my god. They will never know yeah. who actually murdered his wife. That's crazy, man. Mm. Mm. Uh, Dude, absolutely was, uh, insane. Cool. It's not exciting. It's just world news. <laughs> it's, it's just something that happened. Everyone's seen the Bronco running. I mean, yeah. it's iconic. <laughs> I can't remember if it was uh, Cheeto Bandito or Broke Ass Knives. We have a little like, and somebody said that they they brought up the news, and they replied with this meme. Oh no, oh, Tactical no. Terry. Anyway, anyways, <laughs> that's my that's literally my response to that was cringe all around. Oh no. <laughs> Anyways, I've got haters. It'll be all right. <laughs> oh. oh man. Uh, so I think I got a new knife. I'm gonna pick up. Yes. I oh, actually felt it, it in store, and I like. I didn't pick it up. Uh, it's next paycheck. But Is it a no, no, it's not. It, it's a, it's an inexpensive one. Okay. Um, I'm really digging the new Civivi Sendi. Mm. Which one is that? I don't know that. I am really liking it. It's and the I, I felt the elementum. What what'd you say, Drew? It's one of Ben Peterson's. Yeah, yep. No, I, I did a write up on it and I'm like, ah, you know what, I'm gonna go and give it a try today because I went into the store and dude I actually really liked it. One hundred percent crispy critter. Fuck cancer. Yeah, no, one hundred percent. One million percent, dude. Oh, yep. That just needs to stay up for the rest of the stream. <laughs> yeah, the fixed blade's the Lulu space blade. And the okay, so it's a like a top flipper, like pseudo uh, multi tool kind of yep. knife. Yeah, it's pretty neat. I see. Yeah, dude, that that's new to me. Yeah, I do like the included little tweezers because tweezers come in a lot more handy than you expect. Yep. But that was just the first one that like popped up for me. And ooh, the wood one is the one I'd go with personally. Isn't but, that the that's the coca bola or coca whatever yeah. wood? Yeah. Coca melon. <laughs> coca melon wood. <laughs> The black one's not bad either, too. That Dang. was the one I was... I like the green, though. It's just different. Yeah. That well, was the one I was going to go with. The, uh, the, the the lighter green. Oh, the one with the red in like um, inside. Nice. Yeah, right yeah. there. Ah, yep. I'm here, you. Right there. Yep. Yeah, that's a nice touch. Yeah, it's, yeah. it's really nice to hold in hand. It's a nice little carry. Nice. So... I like it. Yes, Definitely, if you can get your hands on one, give it a try. The Lulu, you need to. The Lulu is nice. The which one? The Lulu, the fixed blade. Okay. Give that one, one a try. I think that's a not NAS branded, right? The Lulu? Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's. Yeah, NAS. that's NAS branded. That's 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 like his baby. Yeah. NAS <laughs> Lulu. Let me pull that one up. Okay. Uh, yeah, that one's like, uh, that's what I paid for my, or close to what I paid for my other fixed blade. Hey, but it's look, in Magna man, Cut, so I, I can't complain. If you if you are in looking for like a new knife for real, this one right here, as far as like what I would consider a budget premium knife, this is one of the best knives I've ever owned. 
and it's super affordable. (laughs) (laughs) Has nothing to do with it being Sharif's design. (laughs) A Bobo. What up, Bobo? What up, Bobo? No, but I mean, it's a two hundred dollar knife, and they're on sale for one twenty on Kaiser's website. Oh, I yeah. mean, that's a steal. It yeah. is. Can't go wrong. It definitely. I heard is. the send- the Sendy just recently came out, um, so I don't know. I haven't gotten any actual reviews in yet, but from the the factory uh, feel, it, it felt pretty nice. I liked it. Yeah, dude. Came in that's Nitro awesome. V steel. And I've actually been digging the uh, Vostead Raccoon CDC collab uh, in the Nitro V. That's what I've been rocking as my daily. So, yeah. Well, Neil. For those of you guys who don't know, Neil has an exclusive one. He sent it to me, and I actually signed the blade. Man. Yeah. Heck yeah. Um, are you going to be at Blade Atlanta? Me? Yeah. I I need to buy my airfare, but my. Airbnb is booked. My tickets for the show are booked. Like, I'm just. I needed like two minutes to like sit down and actually pay attention to airfare, sure. which I haven't had. We we need to do our collab our collab knife and have the proto by Blade show so you could come to our table as it. Uh... Oh yeah, dude. I mean, how long does it like? Can you turn around the the protos for? Because like, month, uh, month, typically. Yeah, okay, good. So that's something that needs to start getting cracking on. Yeah, because I need to order... I may order another prototype for a third knife design. Um, But the one that I showed you guys earlier is definitely coming with me. Mm, I want that one. Just saying. Man, definitely want that one. CPM, I'm offended. Hey... I need to get one. I just haven't picked one up yet. <laughs> it's like the best MKW would carry them. I know, right? <laughs> <laughs> no, they oh, did. They had the the budget ones. Yeah, but they don't uh, have yours. I want yours, yeah, Sharif. Yeah. You what, want yours. Mm, the, the big one? The Kaimano? The Kaimano? Yeah, I want... Yeah. Well, I uh, I am preparing to reach out to Smoky Mountain to carry them. So, well, we them you definitely, it definitely. Hey, they picked up uh, Dead Reckon. I saw yep. have Dead Reckon on their email. Yes, we did. Yeah. yeah. I can I can happily announce we did pick up Dead Reckon. We we do carry them now. Heck yeah, dude. Oh, Drew, you. We're also gonna carry. Yet. Um, we're also carrying Vero now, as well yeah. as um. Arcane. There's one. Uh, no, it starts with a B. Beat? They're traditional folders. Oh, they almost look like modern traditionals. Jack, it wouldn't. It's not Jack Wolf because that doesn't. No, start. It, it sits. It, they kind of look like Jack Wolf's, but they're they almost lean a little more traditional. Uh, B or P is in B. B as okay. in boy. I was gonna say P is in. Yeah, we just started carrying them. Let me look it up. Uh. But yeah, oh, I, I just I I had people show me in the store today that, oh hey look at what we're carrying. Because I was gonna say Pena, but like no, we I carry mean, Pena. We've had yeah. them. Pena mm-hmm. hasn't done a new modern bag in a while. Oh, bag boy. We carry bag. Oh, as well now. dude, do what you have a new field craft? Uh, I, it's so beautiful. Field? Uh, let me look. Probably the not, but are hopefully. Build craft selling out like crazy, and they're not expensive. They're like forty no. bucks. But dang. we do not. Uh, oh wait, we have <clears throat> not the field craft. We have the small hawk bill. Yeah, it's a bolstered traditional. Uh, here I can let me send it yeah. in the private chat. Or share your screen. Okay, I can do that. Uh, yeah. sh- let me. Drag y'all over there so I can just do this. Share screen. Share screen. Which one? I don't know. Screen two. Yes. Okay. There we go. Yes, that's the one. Yeah, we have it. Oh, hell yeah. Okay. I may need to order that. That is a <laughs> traditional. That's, like for me, 
if I'm going to carry a, like a secondary, you know, I want a secondary that does something that my primary doesn't do. Mm -hmm. And dude, freaking a traditional hawk bill, so dope. And like, it is cool. From even from like a a. Okay, there, there. Okay, let me get a little like autistic nerdy about this real quick. <laughs> <laughs> when when you have a God. knife that the the engagement kind of works that way, the more tip pressure that you can have i.e like a warren cliff or a hawk bill mm -hmm. the more you re reinforce the locking mechanism and it's less likely to kind of like back out on you right yeah. so if you're making like a double detent slip joint you're making a slip joint period actually like warren cliffs or like low belly sort of knives are you know like really really good for those kinds of uh those kinds of knives because that it actually makes them safer in principle yes so anyways C um can i address more or michael really quickly yeah, of course yeah um i asked smoky mountain knife works to pick out a decent case blade centered no gaps at the spine uh, they said every knife sent to them is quality controlled already, and they don't have time to open a couple in the warehouse. Uh, yeah, that's completely right. true. That's how business works, uh, Michael, unfortunately. Uh, yeah. Everything is quality controlled from case. Um, so if there's a problem with quality control, it comes from them. And we actually get people that will only buy stuff that is in an unopened box, untouched packaging from the factory. So to go through and for every person that wants a perfectly centered knife, that's taking just valuable time that we can't afford. I mean, we're a big company. So, unfortunately, I apologize for that, but that's just that's how it works. Yeah, <laughs> it, it is. Like, the, the big... Well, do not have one? Hmm? The, the big uh, distributors, uh, Mimo, they, they can't do that. Like, if yep. you were buying from a smaller vendor, like my size, you know, or just, like, a little bit bigger than me, yeah, you you probably could get they they could accommodate you. But, yeah, um, I mean when when we have when we have thousands of orders in, it's, yeah, it's hard. A Ford it customer is. service. I mean, we have a whole customer service team dedicated in the United States based out of our store. Yeah, no, you like, can call. You can call. You can friend. email. You can have a live chat. I mean, and I was gonna say, like, let let me jump on you there, Space Ghost. There, there's a difference between customer service and individualized attention. Don't get the two mixed up, man. Like, I'm not saying this because this this is Smoky Mountain or anybody else. Like, we need to, on some level, manage customer expectations. Like, you wouldn't hit up Amazon and ask them for that kind of individualized attention when you're dealing with a large scale distributor you you i'm sorry you can't like yeah drew mentioned they're doing thousands of orders a day you know so and um, if that happens michael i mean you're you're more than welcome to reach out to our customer service and yeah. we do do returns and things like that but I mean that that has to come to you seeing that because we only trust what comes from Case as their quality control. It comes yeah. same if it comes from any other company that is their quality control. We don't check it. Even our own knives, Rough Rider, they come from the factory. <clears throat> we ship them out. That's that's what we do. Yeah, yeah. So if there is problems, happy to reach out. I mean, we got you know twenty yeah. people working in customer service. That's all their <laughs> job is. So Sam Walton's also charging you to use his uh, his self checkout now, huh? Yeah. Who is Sam Walton? I was gonna say Walmart. The owner of Walmart, like the creator of Walmart, the founder. Who who <laughs> is dead now? Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, hundred percent. But it's still Walmart. Yep. Yeah, isn't it like his three kids that own it now? I don't know. Yeah. Uh, but, are you still looking for a ZT by a chance? Uh, I mean, yeah. Yeah? Hit that link. Alright. 
Nice. Oh. Mm-hmm. I've already held that in hand. That's what I like. Two hundo. What do you mean two hundo? It's three fifty six. Two hundo. No, he's selling his personal one. Oh, I got you. I was still on the other screen. With a um Trevor Colon edge. Mmm. Mm. And a DNA resin works. Mmm. True, that uh that Savibi may need to uh take a, a back seat in the um That's what I'm kinda thinking, because that's a good deal on it. Yes, that is. That's an insanely good deal. Yeah. Uh <laughs> if you hold it for me for, if you hold it for me for a minute so I can get the money. Well, I've had it posted for like six months, so I think you're good. Okay, sweet. <laughs> Granted, I only posted the if you give me a second to get you money, it's a sale. <laughs> but if you get one beforehand, sell it. It's okay. I get it. <laughs> I finally went through my box, and I thought I'd already sold it. And I was like, oh, do I want to keep that? And then I was like, wait a second. Drew was talking about one the ZT. I wonder if it was this one. Yes, yeah, dude. I was like, yes, it is. I think it was. <laughs> yep. No, that's that's perfect, dude. That's a and that's a, and it's already broken awesome. in, which means oh, that yeah. it's smoother. It's been taken yes. care of. <laughs> we just talked about this the other day about it being broken, and that's what he likes. <clears throat> yep, it's perfect. So I I there you go. Still understand Smoky Mountains argument there but i do understand memo a little bit more 100 percent, yeah because it's coming from can or going to canada so like yep just getting it through customs could be an issue because it's canada but yeah you know the thing is like really i don't see it as a, a smoky mountain or a retailer issue it's cases issue yes you know what well, I mean? yes but, yeah i mean if it comes to you bad it's the manufacturer's issue yeah yeah I mean, I'm happy you found those several companies. It's just we 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 can't we don't have the time. We yeah. we, we really we can't do and that because a, every customer that asks that, then we would have to do that for every single customer. Well, yeah. I can say this, like, I, and this is not me trying to be biased or anything. No, but yeah. We went during that event, right? And we, you know, obviously, I'm sure that's a busier time than normal, but <clears throat> it was so busy that all of the associates were busy helping like 10 people plus and, oh yeah i yeah. mean it was just an insanely busy time yep um <clears> and that's the inside of the store constantly. not even like so the warehouse yeah. where you would order from they still get it doesn't matter it's thousands of orders every single day that they got to ship out yeah and keep yeah. it going My <laughs> My issue is like i i like case i like a lot of the things that they produce I just want to, uh, I want them to step up their game. You know yeah. what I mean? Like, yeah. realistically, like, that that's why with the Kaimanos, man, like, I check every single fucking one, you yeah. know? Yeah, quality like, control's an issue from the start. It yeah. needs to improve. Yeah. yeah, and that's the thing, right? Like, like, that's one of the things, for example, like, Emerson used to get nailed for a lot, mm -hmm. you know, was like QC issues, you know, and like the these manufacturers should and dude, even more recently, fucking Leon Ma got like nailed for that, you know, and he went off like he went nutballs on people. But it's like, bro, like, yeah, does it suck? does it take like additional time sure it takes on average like five minutes a knife right yep yeah. to go through like a good checklist but here's the thing right and if you do what five minutes times 300 units that's four thousand hundred minutes you know <laughs> like yeah. it's it, it does take time but but you know what you do you end up gaining customer appreciation and loyalty yeah. You know? Yep. And like, well, and it's that th that's the thing that built so many of these brands. I'm not yeah. going to name one specifically, but so many of these brands is their original quality control. You always had a good knife. It was always there, and it never broke. Yeah. Like I mean, you you just and now it's not even that way. 
Uh, don't well, you think you can ask Smoky Mountain me. Knifeworks to QC because I was trying to find a Find somebody touch. local that can actually um, go into the store and have them go into the store and say, hey, can I look at this? Yeah. You know? Yeah, and that's because the warehouse is separate from the store, too. So they Correct. can... Yes. Yep. So we, like, you can actually do a, that. Uh, what do you call a fox? Yeah. Yeah, I mean, and it's not being rude by saying, but if you want to be... Mm. Um, I can't think of a better word, so forgive me for using it. If you want to be picky, right, about what knife you pick, um, it, it, it is always better to see it in person because you are rolling the dice of, one, is it good from factory? Two, did you manage to get a good one from the massive amounts that these suppliers have? And then yeah. three, it manages to ship to your doorstep completely undamaged and you get a perfectly functioning knife. Yeah. Or... Or you can just take a note from CPM and only buy like ten thousand um, dollar customs. <laughs> exactly. You'd <be> exactly. <laughs> no, you'd be surprised. A lot of customs have issues. Yes. A yeah. lot. Issues. Really? Oh, yes. you would be interesting. shocked and appalled. Like that genuinely. Is very interesting. Yeah, like, dude. CPM. Sharif's are one of the one of the few that stand out. Because I, they're actually no. right, quality controlled. <laughs> I, I mean, the dude's done them on the live stream. You can't knock him for like, oh, no, he's faking it. Literally watched him. <laughs> Dude, CPM, I'm so jealous of this. I want one so bad, like really, really fucking bad uh, until I saw the price, you know? Exactly. I mean, Kyle. Okay. Very yeah, true. Exactly, Kyle. I mean, and, it, that's where it comes quality control at the factory. And yeah. I mean, that's where the problem should 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 be. We should take it and, to the factories. Yeah. While I agree <laughs> with that, um, I can't tell you how long Drew spends uh, QCing all of our knives that come in. Right. Um, right. He QCs every single knife. And then we have a blend cell, and it'll be like a minor issue, and we sell it at a discount because... Yeah, Drew's very yeah. OCD about it. Yep. So, so, I I I fully understand where you're coming from, Kyle. Picky doesn't equal uh, getting a, a knife the way it's supposed to be. I 100% agree, but yeah. I also understand where Drew, the other Drew, is coming from. Yeah. Um, on the aspect of you know, hey, this is a really big company. Um, they're expecting a certain standard from where they're buying it because yeah. they're just a vendor. They're not the retailer of the original knife. And Kyle, that's unfair to say that we shouldn't carry a brand as massive as Case because they're having quality control issues. Yeah. We are the I, number one seller of Case, period. That's, yeah. That is such a silly argument there. I mean, if you're going to tell me not to, we, we should stop selling Microtech because they had a quality control issue for a month or two. That yes. That's such a silly I'm thing. <laughs> I'm kidding. Um... <clears throat> CPM. Dang, dang. <laughs> I was waiting for this. I was waiting Dude. for it too. I was waiting for it. By the way, it. I got to handle that new, like, super exclusive, like, limited bench made, the, like, 177 or whatever. Yep. Oh, dude. It Is it nice? Really, like, I'll put it to you like this. It's the best thing I've ever touched from bench made by a wide fucking margin like like so yeah the 710 so my local knife store uh i'm really good friends with them they actually just bought um uh whatchamacallit they just bought six of my kaimanos to sell locally which i'm super geeked about and the owner she's this this badass old broad like imagine <laughs> the kind of woman you have to be to run a knife store for like decades and she like goes to shot show and negotiates with all of these companies for her inventory and all of this stuff like she's tough as nails right and she was just like oh you want to see something cool i'm not allowed to show this to the public until like whatever april 10th or 11th and she just 
pulls out this fucking box from <laughs> like, he's like here play with it and i was like oh shit like yeah. all right fuck man but dude that they're sweet i honestly, think we have one the yeah yeah a lot of the <laughs> the retailers only got one yeah i think let me if i can because i have it pulled up here yeah uh yes we had 100%. two people already write about it uh asking to reserve it yeah dude and i gotta say like, like wow bench mates are generally like pretty drop shutty from the the factory uh -huh. right that one is hydraulic like it feels like the bushing the the washers everything got like extra attention like every part of that that is the one bench made that i'm like it's cool yeah yeah i kind of get it i kind of get it you Dude. know Space you you want to see uh <laughs> you want to you want to see or you want to like talk shit about the narrows be my guest all day you want to talk shit about that limited edition bailout I I did the most viral video on the subject, right? But that bench made that seven ten. It's nice. It's, it's nice. It's, I I hate to admit it. It's <laughs> fucking nice. <laughs> Man, and it's it's just oof. Yeah, and by Sharif's the way, Sharif's a bench made fan now. Yep. <laughs> oh no, no. <laughs> Sharif's going out and buying a Claymore OTF tomorrow CPM with those grivery will, handles. Will never talk to me again. He's going to go buy one right away. <laughs> he loves them. He, he's converted now, guys. <laughs> no! Uh, Josh, it's just something you have to hold in your hand and, and decide for yourself. Seriously. So, I'll say this, Josh. I don't know that I've handled a knife over seven hundred dollars that i feel gives a return on the investment genuinely right like in terms of fit finish quality feel all of that stuff right like i i can honestly say like when you start getting into uh like chris reeves you start getting into koenig Arias's and stuff like that uh i genuinely don't I feel like you're buying more for the fact that they are limited editions and like exclusive above a certain price point, right? So, yeah, like, is it a, you know, does that additional price like garner you anything aside from exclusivity? No, honestly, right? Um, but you know that gold class uh that's the gold class 710 will probably double in value within like the next year or two you know because every single one is going to sell out if you bought it held on to it as an investment and ours you, is gone by the way i looked <laughs> yeah like you, you'll be able to sell that knife for 3k or close to 3k easily and that's you're getting into like a different tier of yep. knife at that at that stage, you know. Nothing that I would ever touch, just because it's not me. But it's definitely yeah. for the people that are into it. Yeah. So like, is it worth two thirds of a GTC custom if you if you uh, talk about it in that sense, in an investment sense? Sure. Sure. If I had the money to like get it as an investment and flip it, I absolutely would. Right. Uh, but if you're talking about like as a user, as a carry knife, no, I don't see many knives out there that are better in production that are better than a Chris Reeves or a Koenig Arias or like Shiro even like with Shiro. Again, it's a case of diminishing returns, even, you know? Yeah, right. <laughs> Coming from you, yeah, right. 
Oh, come on, Sharif. Um, they're not investments. Is, <clears throat> yeah, well, I'm time. I'm the guy sitting with a 1 of 100 Shiro in his safe, so I can't really... <laughs> I can't really talk. <laughs> there you go, Sharif. This is one that I, I still want. Oh, Ooh. yeah. The action on that thing is stupid good. That's nice. Yeah, it reminds me a little bit of uh, the Brian Brown. Yeah. Mm. Yep. Yeah, that handle design definitely is yeah. reminiscent. Definitely. Yeah. We're definitely. gonna be next to Brian Brown this year. But sweet at Atlanta. Yep. Nice. Mm -hmm. Yep. We got moved to the uh, the front, so it'll be something obscene, double booth, and then Brian. And then... Nice. Where, Where are we in comparison to you guys? Y'all are in the big room. room. We yeah. like oh, okay. the small room. Yeah. I got you. They asked us if we. So you guys are in the side room. Here. Again? Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. Sweet. Yeah. Very excited about that. Yeah, that's cool. Yeah. And Sharif's – where are you, Sharif? Are you just showing up or do you – I'm just showing up. I don't – He's not I, brown bagging. No I matter what the room is, not brown bag because that is against the rules. <laughs> I straight up tried to get a booth, man. And they they fucking dicked me around for a long time, you know. Yeah. And you have to get in super early. Yeah, yeah. dude. I I messaged them within like a week or two after, and they're like, "Oh, we'll put you on the list," you know. Yeah. So. You just gotta yeah. keep after it. You just gotta keep bombarding. Keep bothering them. them. Yeah. 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 I get that. Yeah. For sure. Now you got me doubting my twelve dollar bug out I got at the one twenty seven yards. Jeez. Uh, I'd rather buy a Submariner. Oof. I want a nice watch. Don't get me wrong. I enjoy this watch, but I am not a watchaholic like that. Yeah, I get that, Palmer. Well, especially in today's like watch market, definitely. But if you already have the Submariner, you know, uh, then you kind of, uh, whatchamacallit. Uh, Brandon, we actually didn't really have a debate today. It was more just yeah. like a, of a hangout than anything else. Uh, yeah. But I, I did have a question for people, and I wanted to uh, do one of those polls, but I can't remember... Uh, what you call it? Oh, here it is, the the poll uh, machine, you know, or the whatever. Yeah. The the, the website, but <laughs> let's see. What I'm really Dog. like curious yeah. about is what's everybody's favorite opening method. So I'll post the link to the poll mm. in a second. Um, let's see. So we got like help me remember all the kinds. We've got the the thumb pull. Hey, whoa, whoa, whoa! Thumb There's a knife one hundred and one article about all the different openers. You should oh. just go look at that. <laughs> I mean, thumb disc should be number one. Obviously. Yeah. Obviously. Sure. Let's see. Do, 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 do. So there's, uh, well, you got Button, Emerson, Flipper, Hidden, Nail Nick, uh, Thumb yeah, Disc, things. Yeah. Thumb Hole, Thumb Slide, Thumb Stud. <laughs> uh, Studs, okay. because I don't like dudes. <laughs> <laughs> let's see what else we've got uh here we go yeah sure found your article i need to update it so we got da, da, da. yeah the the wave dang it i keep having to there we go wave 
We got, oh yeah, Flipper. I forgot about Flippers. Mm-hmm. Nail Nick. Yep. Nail Nick, yep. Front Flipper. Blood Groove. <laughs> Bullard. Let's see. Da, 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 da. Oh. That's a OTF. Yeah, yeah, thumb stud. All right, I got most of them down. Do, do, do allow selection of multiple options. Boom. This is the link, everybody. I am curious to get your feedback. Place your votes over here. And I am definitely thumb hole, thumb disc, wave some of the time and traditional like flipper like by traditional flipper i mean like back flipper or whatever the one you're most used to you know um but right now we can watch the results live right here where is it boom Thumb disc is doing well with one vote. <laughs> I wonder who voted on it. <laughs> is button on there? Yes, button auto and button manual. Okay. That's tough. I'd probably say hold. I like hold. Yeah. I'm a flipper guy. I like a traditional flipper. They're fun to play with. You just sitting. It's like a fidget toy, in my opinion. Come on, flipper. We can win against Hull. Let's go. <laughs> Rally the troops. Shreef is just focused in right now. Yeah, sorry, just typing uh, messages. Hole seems to have it, man. That's what it's looking like. Yeah. <laughs> Ariana. Dirty girl. <laughs> hey, I gotta, I gotta add because I was asked on Tuesday. Did you guys see me in the store today? If you're watching the SMKW live stream, I was there. Stood nice. in front of the camera for like 30 minutes talking Very to people. Cool. I was there. Had the hat on. It's like a cowboy hat. Ooh, who else voted for Thumb Disc? Come on. You're I just mean, sucking it, up to Sharif now. You voted Thumb Disc. It was probably disc. Drew, the other Drew, but. Yeah, we're good. I, I'm curious. Yeah, just favorite. Yeah, exactly. You know, what do you like? I think I think best is relative, and best also depends on the execution. Um, so it's you know it's it's all about <laughs> like how they they do it. You know, I believe it or not, I've had a thumb stud or a thumb stud knife where the thumb studs were done or positioned so horribly. In combination with the detent, like you the can't open it, wouldn't open. Yeah, yeah I've had, I felt a couple that way too. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I like that. Thumb holes are have taken a sizable lead, though. I think it's funny that Nail Nick didn't get a single vote. Yeah, yeah. Well, just yeah. goes to show. We, we innovated upon it. Stop using it. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> Again, Josh, like I, I don't disagree with you that flippers are awesome. I have a prototype that I did recently with a flipper, and honestly, 
I didn't do it perfectly to my standards. So like, but it's still I'm a possibility. Gonna, yeah, it definitely like a quality of execution comes into play, like a lot. Unfortunately, like it still flips, but the what it really needs is like on the kaimano. The kaimano I put a relief for your finger when you flip it to to kind of dip into the 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 handles. And the new one, the prototype that I did, I didn't do that. And the flipper is low profile. So it, it just doesn't have that satisfying like feeling in the execution, you know? Fair. Um, and it's a touch lock bar sensitive. Um which I am firmly against. I hate any any flipper where it's like lock bar sensitive. So that one needs to go back to the drawing board, and that's my own failure. You yeah. know, like I'll readily. But you learned. Exactly. That's the important thing. Yeah, hundred percent. Like you've got to. Sometimes you've got to. You got to take chances on the execution and. Mm -hmm. You know, sometimes you hit it out of the park. Other times, you know, you kind of fuck it up. Yeah. <laughs> I kind of fucked it up. <laughs> <laughs> you know, but it happens. Yeah, it happens. I, I'm excited because it's giving me an opportunity to redesign it and really do some dope shit. Like. Like there, there's things like for the price point that I would like it to be at, I'm seeing that I could really step up my game with it, you know. And I thought I was, I was already doing that a bit with some of the details, but I'm like thinking now, I'm like, ooh, I could really make this like some next level shit, you yeah. know. So I'm very, you know, when you when you think about it like that, failures can become like successes. And that one's going to turn into a sleek, sleek knife. Oof. Y'all ain't ready. Y'all ain't ready. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like hole one. Yeah, dude. Absolutely. Yeah. Sweet. Hole definitely one. Should have been flipper, but you know, you know. We live. Dude, no, man. Holes are... Oof, they're so crispy. Like, and... Well, kind of like flippers, too. There's nothing in the pathway of the the blade, which is yep. really nice. It's one of my, my favorite things about hole knives, you know? Um, I Don't get me wrong. I Like I said, I'm... Everybody knows... I'm a thumb stud, thumb disc kind of guy, but hole is so nice because it keeps everything like clean. Yeah. You know? It's super, super cool. But on that note, y'all, I think we're going to call it. We're at a, almost an hour and 15 minutes. So. Uh, Kathleen's with... just joining as we're leaving. <laughs> oh, dang. Kathleen. Sorry. Womp, womp. Sorry, Kathleen. Yeah. But I've got a hellacious to-do list. I was showing the guys earlier before the chat. That's just one page. Mm -hmm. That's another page. So your boy needs to get to, back to work. And we appreciate you guys showing up here. Oh, yeah. Drew, you got anything you want to promote with Knives 101? Uh, yeah, just go check it out. Um, try and teach you everything you need to know about knives or would like to know about knives. Uh, we publish articles, or I publish articles, every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday there. Uh, so just go check it out. It's pretty sweet. smkw.com slash knife-101. There you go. And Luke and Drew, CDC boys, anything you guys want to promote before we get out of here? Um, the the right, Kickstarter. Right. Yes. Um, the Kickstarter is fully funded. We appreciate y'all. We also have this one you can sign up for. 
Nice. And nice. Um, yeah, that's that's pretty much it. We appreciate every one of y'all. Um, there's uh, there's a lot of hate out there in the world, and just you know, try and spread kindness. Y'all are awesome. Absolutely. Alrighty, people. Thank you for being here tonight. Y'all have a wonderful rest of your Thursday, and we will see you next time. See y'all. Peace.